Could you make a computer sentient? Could you make it actually go, ow, that hurt? Not just say it, because obviously a movie can say it, right? Characters in this movie are, are having a sensation thing moment, but they're just, just a movie. It's just demonstrating it. It's mimicking sensation, but it's not doing sensation. And so mimicking consciousness wouldn't be what we're after. Actually having it, actually feeling. So we'd have to make a, somehow make this hardware of a computer capable of manifesting consciousness. The ability to go out, to have a sensation. I would argue that it just doesn't have, it's not in the hardware. It's not just a matter of programs. It's just not a matter of bits and bytes interacting. We can make these computers do a synthetic mimic of a human being. We could create a computer, and no doubt about it in my opinion, that will be cybernetically identical, indistinguishable from a human being in terms of it could have every articulation, every nuance of humanness, but it wouldn't be conscious. So it could mimic it, but it isn't doing it the same way our brain is doing it. This was made by us to do a certain thing with a certain deficiency, where this was made by 4 billion years of evolution, or 3.5, biological organisms being developed. His question is a physics question, a biology question. You have to go back, you know, 500 million years to find the answer to, somewhere around there in terms of what's the minimum structure that creates the conscious moment, the first ouch. There was an organism that said ouch for the first time, said it, I mean mentally. Oh, negative feeling. You know, that happened for the first time somewhere in our history. Like human beings said for the first time, wildebeest or whatever. You know, got it, elephant or something. Realized it was a thing, named it a thing identified it as a thing. I mean, which is all related. I mean, this caveman movie is just a joke movie, but it has a lot of this idea of the, of the development of recognition of, a, of an environment and, and the joke way of doing it. But I'm just saying we went through this process of, of becoming, of understanding. And the process we were involved in before that was this conscious process where we were being completely manipulated by the feelings our brain generated and reacting to those. So we were always solving a feeling problem. We weren't solving intellectual problems, math problems, objective problems. We were solving very subjective problems. And that's the biggest difference between a modern human and a human 100,000 years ago, is the fact that we can solve bigger picture problems, game problems, where the old human was just solving personal problems. I guess the bottom line is, look, I don't have your answer, all right? And if you're going to hang all of philosophy on coming up with this answer to this question, like what's the minimum physics, what's the minimum toolkit, I just think it's kind of bogus. It's like me having to explain why a computer that doesn't have Wi-Fi can't do Wi-Fi. I mean, of course it can't do it because it doesn't have Wi-Fi. It doesn't have the, the hardware. So until the computer has the hardware to do Wi-Fi, yeah, it's not going to do Wi-Fi. Maybe you can make it do something else, but it ain't going to do Wi-Fi. Without the right board in it, it ain't going to do Bluetooth. It ain't going to do this stuff unless it's got the hardware that makes it possible for it to do it. And we have biological hardware, which is just an arrangement of matter that in some way creates what we call a sensation and what we call consciousness. So I think the two are intimately tied together. I don't think you have a sensation without consciousness, and I don't think you have anything called consciousness without sensation. So I don't think you can have either one without each other. They are the same thing. Consciousness is created by sensation. And I don't mean sensation like I feel something rough. I mean sensation in the qualitative sense of this is an unpleasant feeling and this is a pleasant feeling. So it's a hardware question. Maybe we can find it in a in an insect's brain, maybe we can find it in a lizard's brain, whatever we have to go down to to find it. But we can find consciousness there, reacting to a brain creating uh, feelings.